Harry Potter came to me on a train in 1990. I was sitting just staring out of the window and I, I, the idea just fell out of nowhere. It was the purest stroke of inspiration I've ever had in my life. And I've been writing about him ever since. Literally, I have boxes, loads, loads, loads of stuff on him that um, has travelled with me to Portugal where I was working before Edinburgh, back to Edinburgh, slowly growing and growing. But it was in Edinburgh that I actually kind of carved a, a book out of that mass of material. Rolling. It's rolling. rolling. <laughs> it's a really good start. Um, that's because first time writer, eager to please my publishers, they phoned me up and said, Can we use your initials instead? This is about two weeks before publication. And I said, Yes, you can use them, I don't mind, but why? And it was it was because trying to hide my gender, definitely. They thought it was a book that would appeal to boys and they thought possibly if they saw Joanne on the front cover they wouldn't pick it up. I'm not just interested in writing stories, I'm interested in why we write stories. Yes. I'm even more fascinated by the fact that discrete cultures who'd never met create such similar archetypes and such, such similar creatures. Yeah. So we see the firebird, the phoenix as I, as I called it, but you see the creation of a firebird throughout different cultures. And what is that telling us about what it is to be human and what lives at the back of our minds in our subconscious?